what is the difference between virtual method and an abstract method in C sharp? In C sharp, both virtual and abstract methods are related to inheritance and polymorphism, but they serve different purposes and have different characteristics. So let's start with the virtual method. The virtual methods have a default implementation in the base class. They can be overridden in derived classes using the override keyword. Overriding a virtual method in a derived class is optional. If not overridden, the base class implementation is used. Even if the virtual method is overridden in a derived class, the base class implementation can still be invoked using the base keyword. The virtual methods can be part of both abstract and non-abstract classes. By default, the virtual methods have the same visibility as non-virtual methods. However, they cannot be private since that would prevent them from being overridden in the derived class. In a derived class, the overriding of a virtual method can be stopped by using the sealed keyword, which prevents further derived classes from overriding that method. Before looking at some code examples, let's look at the features of the abstract methods in C-sharp. The abstract methods do not have any implementation in the base class. The derived classes must provide an implementation for abstract methods. The abstract method can only be part of an abstract class. Just like the virtual methods, the abstract methods cannot be private since they are meant to be overridden in the derived classes. Also, the abstract methods in an interface cannot have access modifiers as they are implicitly public. The main purpose of the abstract methods is to define a contract for derived classes ensuring that a certain behavior is implemented in all non-abstract derived classes. Let's take a look at a code snippet which demonstrates the use of the virtual methods in C Sharp. I have a base class which is called animal with a single method speak which is virtual. As mentioned earlier, the virtual methods actually have default implementation in the base class. This is our default implementation. We simply print to the console, the animal makes the sound. Well, I have two classes, dog and cat. Both these classes, dog and cat, inherit from animal. However, in the dog class, we actually override the speak method. And now we print to the console, the dog barks. And the cat class does not override the speak method which means that if the speak method is called from a cat object, the default implementation is going to be used. And this is our main class. I create two objects. The first one is a dog. The second one is cat. And then we call the speak methods of each one of these objects. Now let's run the program. And as expected, we see the dog barks when we call the my dog speak. And then we see when we call mycat.speak, it outputs the animal makes a sound since we did not override the base class method and the base class implementation is used. And now let's take a look at a, another code example where I demonstrate the use of the abstract methods. I have a abstract class which is called shape with two methods. The first one is the abstract method area, which does not have implementation. And then I have a second method display area, which is just a normal method, which prints the area to the console. If you remember from the previous code example, virtual methods do not have to be overridden in derived classes. On the other hand, the abstract method provides no implementation in the base abstract class, and it must be overridden in the derived classes. Now I have two derived classes, circle and square and both of them override the area abstract method and you can see that if i remove the implementation i should get an error and here's the error circle does not implement inherited abstract member shape area so we must implement the abstract method from the base class and this is my main method again we have two objects we create two objects the first one is circle the second one is square 
and we call the display area methods for each one of them. And if I run the program, I'm going to get the expected output. The area is 78.5398, so on for the circle and area is 16 for the square. And now you can pause the screen in order to see the differences between the virtual and the abstract methods in C-sharp. But the main points to remember is the overriding of the virtual methods is actually optional. If a virtual method is not overridden in the derived class, the base class implementation is used. On the other hand, the abstract methods must be overridden in the derived classes. Another important difference is that the virtual methods can be part of both abstract and non-abstract classes, while the abstract methods can only be part of an abstract class. And finally, the purpose of the virtual method is to provide a default implementation that can be shared across several derived classes. And the main purpose of the abstract method is to enforce derived classes to provide their own implementation. And that was another quick tutorial where I tried to explain the usage of the virtual and the abstract methods in C-sharp. Thank you for watching.